The Midnight Gang by David Williams and illustrated by Tony Ross. Chapter 34. Bottom on Fire. Tom tried desperately to catch the little old lady as she flew past, but she was going way too fast. The old lady was much lighter than George, and the helium in the balloons made her zoom up the stairwell at terrific speed. Glass fell from the skylight as Nellie smashed through it. Those down below leaped out of the way to avoid the sharp shards of falling glass. The shards hit the ground with a gigantic smash. Yippee! shouted the old lady with joy as she disappeared into the starry sky. And there she goes, in a frilly nighty, over the streets of London, near Big Ben in the background. Not fair, shouted George. From the top of the stairwell, Tom could see Nellie sailing down over the rooftops of London. Come down, shouted the porter. Tom leaped onto the banister and slid down. The boy felt his bottom become hotter and hotter as he slid down faster and faster. Very soon he realised he couldn't stop. Ah! He cried. What's the matter, young Mr Thomas, sir? called out the porter. My bottom is on fire! That's all we need now, remarked Robin. The boy slid down the banister faster and faster. The friction was so great that the old pyjamas the porter had found for him started smoking at, from, at the seat. Ah! screamed Tom. And there he is, going down the banister with his bottom on fire, or very, very hot at least. My bottom really is on fire! Yes, dear, we heard you the first time, replied Tom, Robin, unhelpfully. George, grab that fire extinguisher, shouted the porter. The boy did as he was told, but in lifting it up by the handle, he must have set the cylinder off as foam started spraying all over everyone. Splodge! Watch out where you were pointing that thing, screamed Amber, as she now resembled a giant Mr Whippy ice cream. I can't turn it off, cried George. As Robin too was covered head to foot, he remarked, I haven't the faintest idea what's going on anymore. Help! screamed Tom. Somebody catch me! With the fire extinguisher still spraying foam everywhere, the porter was soon covered. Splurge! And there's everyone looking like ice creams with George splurging the fire extinguisher foam over all of them. Great stuff. Desperately, the porter tried to rub the foam out of his eyes to get into position to catch Tom. I can't see anything! cried the porter. Join the club! remarked Robin. Looking over his shoulder, Tom could see that he was heading straight for Amber. Amber, try and catch me, he shouted. My arms are broken, she called back. Whiz! Tom shot off the end of the banister. Bannister. Whoosh! He flew through the air. Whiz! And landed on top of Amber. Splat! Sending her wheelchair speeding off backwards. Rattle! They hit the wall with a tremendous wallop. And there's a picture of them landing, of Tom landing on amber and in all the foam oh my goodness fun and times and landed in a crumpled foamy heap on the floor crunch then the splurging finally stopped great news everybody announced george what asked the others i've worked out how to turn this thing off just in time said robin sarcastically i am glad my arms and legs are already broken said amber otherwise they would be broken Tom examined the seat of his pyjamas. It was black and charred. Well, come on, said the porter. What? replied the Midnight Gang. We have to catch a flying old lady. And there's a picture of Tom inspecting his burnt bottom after whizzing down the staircase. And that's the end of the chapter. See you soon. Bye bye.